everyone, Mercedes here with another creepy countdown list from HSG Network. Today we're going to show you five unsolved ghost videos from YouTube. These mysterious videos will certainly give you chills as you try to figure out exactly what is going on here. Let's get started, shall we? Video number five, the dance studio ghost sighting. In this video, we have a young girl named Kaylee who seems to want to do a review of a dance product called a turning board. Apparently, this item can help you with your spins, but as it turns out, it was the ghost in her studio that really had her spinning. Let's take a look. I'm Kelly, and I'm a dancer, and I will be doing a review on this thing called the turning board. So lots of my dance friends have bought it, and I, they loved it, and I loved it because I've been using theirs. And I finally bought my own, and I just, it's great. It's really helped me, and lots of reviewers think that it doesn't work because you are turning on your heel with the ball your toe, and you don't do that in real life. So I thought it wouldn't work too, but it actually does surprise me, and I don't know how. So, um, I wasn't able to do as many Koopa turns as I can now because I've used the board and all my other turns have gotten better and it's super fun to use and it helps with your balance and it's just, I love it and so I will I'm gonna do three types of turns and then oh and here's a trick um, if you go like this with your arms you can go faster in a shorter amount of time and you can get more turns done and I think the most I've ever done is like 20 so I, let's see camera can see it now okay I'll switch and then I'll go no. Noah? Did you see it? Something was in the closet, right? Let's look at that part again. Let's see. Camera can see it now. Okay. I'll switch and then I'll go. Pretty creepy, right? But that's not where this video ends. Kaylee decides to investigate a little further, and you're not going to believe the results. Okay. I hate my theater room. Okay, not done here. Um. Everyone hides here, so it's probably just right under here. <laughs> so what do you think? Did you hear that creepy sound? What did Kaylee hear or see in the basement room that afternoon that made her run for her life? And what made the turning board spin on its own like that? If you've got any ideas, comment below. Rumor has it, Kaylee never made another video again. Video number four, the creepiest hike ever. A couple kids were out to have some fun one afternoon when things got creepy real fast. Here's how things started out. Hey, watch this. Stupid? Yes, Charlie, that was stupid. Alright, let's go. <laughs> the road's supposed to be another half mile long, and you have to be home by six, so. So let's this go. This is really gonna be long. <gasps> Sorry, sir. Watch where you're going. Alright. So we have like another half mile, like I was saying. Ooh, look. I think we'll be fine. Some adventure. Oh, look, a do not enter sign. That's the key to enter. Come on, let's go. <laughs> that was so stupid. Oh, that's a perfect line. You know I'm recording, still. Why are you still recording? Give me that. All right, so we're back. And yeah. and let's talk about a scary movie that we've recently seen. The scary movie. Have you ever seen The Fourth Kind? Yeah. Um, don't you think it's scary? <laughs> don't you think don't it's scary? Think it's that scary. Well, yes it is. It's about alien abductions and- okay. Alaska. Wait. Scary stuff. What the heck? 
was going the other way when we walked past him. All right. Um, that was weird. Was that the guy that I ran into? Couldn't have been. Except I don't think so. I don't think so. All right, let's go. Yeah, that was pretty weird. That guy kind of looked like him, but. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Not only did this guy appear out of nowhere, but he was clearly following them. When the kids tried to get out of there, things got a lot worse. Watch what happens next. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Right here! Right here! Come on! Come up here! Come on! Come on! Shh! Be quiet! These poor kids got so turned around that it got dark out and they were still stuck in the woods. The man who was following them seemed to be able to track them down, no matter what they did. I heard something. Oh my gosh. Stop. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. We gotta Please hide. Stop. I'm tired. Right here, right here, right here, there's a trail. Right here's perfect. Oh my god. Oh. He's I know. I'll be. We're okay. Oh my god, he's right there. He's right there. Oh my gosh. We gotta get. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here. Look at. There's a V down here. Come on. Keep up. Come on. What does he want? I don't know, but who knows? He might just be saying like guiding us. No, Charlie. Away. I don't know. Turn it off. All right. Fortunately, they were in luck when they found a house in the woods. Desperate to avoid the man chasing them, they approached the house for help. Little did they know, this would be the last decision they ever made. It's gonna be okay, all right? Where we are. It's fine. House. Oh, wait, there's a house right there. Shh, be quiet, be quiet. Charlie, no one's talking. We need to be quiet. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What was that? What was that? Oh my gosh. I think it was just a Halloween. Halloween. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Anyone home? Wait, the garage. The garage is open. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. There has to be someone in here. Knock. Hello? Come on, we gotta come in. Hello. Please. Anyone here? Can someone help us. <sighs> okay. All right. We need to calm down. All right. We need to find somewhere safe. Okay. Come on. Let's go in here. Wait. What? Okay, Do you go. hear something? I don't know. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. What? what is that blood? Is that blood? Charlie, oh that's gosh. blood! Oh, oh my god. gosh. Oh my gosh. What do you guys think? Were they okay? One thing's for sure. This video proves you shouldn't go for a hike on trails that lead behind private property. Video number three. A terrifying poltergeist.
This video comes from a young couple named Mason and Holly, who were documenting the paranormal activity happening in their house. I'm sure when they started, they had no idea just how much they were going to be able to catch on camera. Things started off fairly innocently, with sounds coming from the upstairs, and mysterious movement of objects. Check this out. Hey. Yeah. So I was thinking Chinese for dinner. Is that okay? Yeah, I'm good with that. Little did Mason and Holly know, the more they filmed, the more severe the poltergeist activity would become, until one night, this terrifying incident happened.
Mason? Mason? Mason! Mason! What the hell? What do you guys think? Are Mason and Holly truly haunted by a malevolent ghost? Check out the YouTube channel, Poltergeist Diaries, for more. Video number two, a disturbing haunting. This video features a woman living alone who seems to definitely capture a ghost on camera. Before we show you Shannon's upsetting ghost video, be sure and subscribe to the HSG Network and turn on notifications for more top 5 videos. And don't forget to hit that like button. Many of you may have seen one of Shannon's ghost videos on the internet, but this one is far less well known and much more convincing. First, Shannon captures some undisputable poltergeist activity, and things just got creepier and creepier from there. Watch this. Hi guys! Um... I know it's been a long time since I did my last video, but uh, I got really freaked out <laughs> after the last one um, when I got locked in that closet. Uh, I, it took me forever to get out. I really had to fight and the ghost thing was just out of control. So I started looking for a new place and I found one here, which is great. Um, and things have been great for the last few months or so. Uh, I've been really enjoying it. It's a much smaller place. so much less room for things to hide, but um, the last week or so has been a little uneasy, I guess, is the best way to put it. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just freaking out because of what happened before, but I feel like I've been hearing things again, so I don't really know what that means, um, but I don't know, I just like that. Do you see that? Do you see it? Really, really hope this isn't happening again. Oh my god, <laughs> even that freaked me out. I think I'm just, I'm just really, really sensitive and nervous to all this. I mean, come on. This. This place isn't big enough for ghosts, right? I mean, that's one of the reasons I moved here. If this is happening again, I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I mean, really, like, I don't want to have to move again. I'm just, I'm just freaking out, right? Like, that wasn't, that was just the wind, or something, right? Right? That's why I moved here. This place isn't big enough for ghosts. Hey guys, um, so I just turned my camera on because I was minding my own business sitting here studying for my exam, and I started hearing the noises again. Um, this time they were coming from in the basement over there. So yeah, I, I, I am, is this a thing? Can ghosts follow you from one place to the other? Oh, I'm so frustrated. 
I, I guess I guess we're gonna go into the basement and see what we can find. Why, why is that thing moving? <sighs> okay. Hello? Hello? <sighs> okay. <sighs> this side of the basement always freaks me out. Hello? <gasps> oh my god. I know, I know, I just, I just stopped that thing. All right, this is freaking me out too much. I just, I gotta get out. I Little did Shannon know, later that night, she was about to capture proof of the paranormal. So, um, I got my camera out because I was sitting here lying in bed, asleep, and um, the noises started again from in the basement. Really loud this time. I mean, enough to wake me up. So, I guess we're gonna go check it out. I'm getting really sick of this. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Here we go. Oh. No, you know, you know what? I'm not. I'm not going in the basement right now. It's too freaky. <gasps> oh my gosh! All right. Um, I guess it was coming from the bathroom. <sighs> what? Seriously? I just saw something in here. I know. I saw it. You saw it, right? You saw it? I saw it. I don't, this is so frustrating. <sighs> Nothing. Nothing. <gasps> how, how did those chairs get like that? All right, I am, I am, I am starting, I am starting to really freak out here. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know what to do about this. What am I supposed to do? I can't move again. I don't think moving is gonna help. I think it's me. Is it me? I think it's me. <sighs> what do you guys think? That was pretty intense, right? You could clearly see the ghost move across the door. Let's slow that down and look at it once more. Is this video proof the paranormal exists? Shannon's videos have been pretty convincing if you ask me. How would you like to see a little more from Shannon on the Haunting of Sunshine Girl Network? Comment below. Video number one, the case of the haunted doll. Anna is a young girl who was experiencing some oddities at her house. Strange noises, a little girl giggling, doors opening on their own. One day she decided to document it. Let's let Anna tell you about it in her own words to start. Oh my gosh, the weirdest thing just happened. Okay, let me back up a little bit. Okay. I moved into this house about 10 years ago, and it's like 100 years old. And ever since I moved in here, I knew something was up. I hear our footsteps and doors slamming and windows closing and little girls giggling. And there's this, there's this one song, and I always hear it, but it's really faint, so I'm not sure what it is. Everything is just so crazy. And at first I was really scared, but now I'm just getting pretty ticked off. I need to find out what's going on in my house. And the worst part is, my whole family doesn't believe me. They think I'm just 
being over dramatic because I like to do theater. <laughs> anyway, so um, thanks to the suggestion, suggestion sunshine, I decided to start making some videos because I thought if I could capture some of this paranormal activity, maybe I could get my family to start believing me. Um, also, a couple years ago, I started writing in this journal of mine. And I thought that every time something creepy happened, if I wrote it down and wrote the date and time, maybe it would help to document, you know, everything that's going on. Okay, here's a good one. Okay. December 22nd, midnight. I wake up to the sound of little girls giggling in the bathroom. I walk over to the door, open it up, and I see a rag doll in the bathtub, and the window is wide open and the shades are rattling. So I freak out, I slam the door closed and took some deep breaths and decided I should probably go back in and see what kind of doll it was and maybe my sister left it or something. So I opened back up the door and when I did, the window was closed and locked and the doll was gone. I have a lot more creepy things in this journal but I'm not going to read them all right now. Anyway, also another super creepy thing. A couple of years after I moved in here, some of my neighbors said that um, like a 40-year-old woman died in this house. Died. In my house. It could have been in this room for all I know. It's... That was the door. It always rattles. Oh my gosh, what should I do? Should I open it? I think I have to. I need to get some of this paranormal activity on film. Mom, is that you? Not her. I'm not sure if I should do it. I have to. It was the doll again. <sighs> Something about that doll just gives me the shivers. Mm. I don't know. Should I go back in? Oh, this is so scary. Why is this happening to me? I have to go back in. I need to get a better shot to show my family. The doll is gone. Where could it have gone? Maybe my my sister couldn't have taken it. She wasn't in here. I don't know. How did it move? Maybe it's under the bathtub. Nope. It's so weird. How did that happen? <sighs> Something weird is going on this, in this house, and it's my job to figure out what it is. Shortly after that creepy moment, Anna began to hear footsteps coming from her attic, and she went to check it out. I think the back room. So, uh, oh gosh, oh, okay, that's weird, the, the door's open, oh, it's cold in here, hmm, good thing I brought my flashlight. Let's see what's in these boxes. Looks like a lot of junk. I didn't even know we had stuff up here. It's so cold. There's just a lot of books in here. What's this? Looks like a, a photo. It's 
like a big family. There's a lot of little kids and grandparents. And <laughs> it's outside my house. So it must have been a family that lived here. Let's see. It says, oh man, it's really hard to read. It's really faded. Um, Olsen family. Mm. 1820? No, 1924. Hmm, yeah. So, it must have been a family that lived here before us. I don't know, but it looks really old, and 1924 is old. Maybe there's some more clues in here. I don't know. Oh my gosh, it's freezing. Some candlesticks. <laughs> what was that? A little girl holding the doll? Anna says she ran out of there and escaped to her bedroom when this happened. But something's definitely trying to send some message to me. I don't really know, but I also found this strange substance. It looks like salt, but it does not smell like salt. It stinks so badly. I don't really know what it is, but I'm not sure. Hey, Mom. Mom. Yeah. Come here really fast. Okay, so I'm reviewing, oh, <laughs> I'm reviewing the clues that we found together. Yeah. So, we found the shredded obituary. Yeah. Oh, Antonina's. Yeah, and then this strange substance. And... Well, you know what? I know someone who might be able to tell us what that is. We should take mm -hmm. it in. Yeah. She's okay. a chemist. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what something's trying to tell me. Wait, do you hear that? What? The music? I do, actually. Isn't that Nina? I think so. Okay, it's Antonina trying to tell you something. I'm I know, sure of it. Mom, I know. Okay. Hey, are you going somewhere? Yeah, I'm going to the grocery store. Is anyone home? Uh, no, everybody's at soccer. Okay. So I'm home alone. <laughs> I'll be back in about a half hour. <laughs> All right, bye, Mom. Hmm, I'm still trying to figure out what this means, and gosh, that song, it's just, I always hear it, I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> what do you think, real or fake? Comment below with your thoughts. If you liked this video, be sure and subscribe and hit the like button. If it was too scary for you, then it's probably best not to subscribe and keep hiding under the covers. We'll be back soon with another countdown video from the Haunting of Sunshine Girl Network. Be safe out there, everyone.